And this is just one example right here, a big That's piece so nice. of artwork that you can see at today at the 42nd annual Summer Arts Festival. Is it heavy? It actually it has a little bit of weight All right. It. Well, from paintings to sculptures, even children's art, there is enough to see to fill your entire afternoon. Jenna Jane joins us now from the festival with all the details. Jenna, good morning. Good morning, Dave and Cerise. It might look like I'm in the Southwest, but this is just one of the artist's exhibits. The tents are all up along here on Farnham Street. Now, all we really need are the artists to get out here so we can start selling. Now, if you are interested in ceramics, jewelry, anything that you're interested in, there's going to be something in your price range and style maybe even abstract oil painting. This is the work of Pamela Covington. She's an artist from Kansas City who says she likes to evoke a feeling or a mood in her paintings rather than something more concrete. But if you ask her why she loves to paint, there's nothing abstract about her answer. I can't imagine not painting. So basically it's like breathing air. So it'd be like asking you, what do you love about breathing air? Now the pieces on your screen are about $1,000 each, but some of her smaller works will be cheaper. So if you want to see her and the other artists, the Summer Arts Fest runs the entire weekend, today and tomorrow. It's from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. On Sunday, it's from 11 to 5. Again, this is down Farnham Street near the Jean Leahy Mall. So Farnham is going to be closed this morning between 10th and 15th Streets. Also, 13th and 14th Streets will be closed between Douglas and Harney. So please plan accordingly. Now, on top of the visual arts that you can see here, there's also going to be a bandstand going on with a number of live music acts and culinary arts as the food trucks are going to be here as well. So day three is something for everyone to really enjoy out here. And if you're really worried about it being hot, make sure you bring a water bottle with you. There is going to be a fill station so that way everyone can stay cool. They'll also be handing out cups of water. So take that into uh, uh, precaution before you head out here and leave the pets at home, please. All right, you should be worried about being hot, but mm -hmm. again, many things out there to help you uh, beat the heat and have a little bit of fun. So Jenna Jane's reporting live for us at the Arts Festival. Jenna, thank you.